Just energy affordability is a serious problem here in Ireland where the costs of electricity and gas have risen much faster than wages over the last few years. Since 2011, electricity prices have increased by 21% while gas prices have shot up by 35%. One Big Switch is a campaign promising relief for energy consumers. It was launched today here in Ireland. Its chief executive is Oliver Tatton and he's here in studio. Good evening. Hi Mary. How does the Big Switch work? Well, what it does is we try to unlock group discounted electricity offers. So by joining up as many consumers as we can who just register very easily on onebigswitch.ie, we bring them and their bargaining power into the utility companies, into the energy companies, and say, for example, our target is 20,000. So we say, look, we've got 20,000 people who are interested in an offer, interested in a special offer that they can't get ordinarily. You know, what, what, can, you, what can you do for them? And it's collective bargaining, but... Exactly. Do they con- enter a contract with you? No, no, no. It's, there's no obligation and no fees. And in fact, <clears throat> what people can do is if when they get the offer from whoever we select at the end who has given us the best offer, they can actually take that and negotiate with their existing provider. If, there's, if you're loyal to whoever your provider is, you can, you can negotiate with your, you can take the offer that we will get for you and negotiate with your existing provider. So you don't have to switch. You don't have to switch to, to the one big switch offer. Like all the best ideas, I suppose it's borrowed. Where did you get this idea from? Well, in Australia, this has worked really well. I think one in seven households are members of One Big Switch in Australia. So this idea of collective, of collective bargaining, of group purchasing mm-hmm. is, is not new. I think it's new in Ireland. It's the first time we've seen it done and we're trying to bring it here. But it has happened in, in plenty of other jurisdictions. And what sort of discounts have, have people in Australia seen in, in utility well, bills? Uh, discounts there and even the discounts that we'd hope to see here are, I think if you're on you know, the standard rates here, you could certainly be saving hundreds of euros from your electricity bill. But if I'm astute enough and I have been switching around my utility bills over the last year or two when I'm out of contract immediately moving, I've been saving money anyway. So why should I join you? Yeah, well, that's really good. And, you know, but the NCA will tell us that there's only a small proportion of people have actually switched so far. Mm. And actually the number switching is declining. So there are an awful lot of people out there for whom there are better prices even now who haven't switched. And really... You know, this is about trying to mobilise all of those people who yet haven't considered switching. Potentially, what sort of discounts might you be talking <clears throat> about for people? Well, I think hundreds of euros. Hundreds of euros are certainly possible. Mm-hmm. Um, hundreds of euros if you're on the standard rates or if you're bills for family household bills. I think that's very possible. What motivates you? Are you motivated by altruism <clears throat> or can you make money out of this? <laughs> it's, we call this for profit with purpose. So it is a consumer movement. You know, we are about, we, we won't do this and we won't continue. It is an experiment. We won't do this unless we get a mandate from consumers. But the way in which we're remunerated in the end is we earn a commission from the energy company that ultimately makes the best offer and to whom we point the people who have joined up on one big switch that I but if, if consumers don't save money, we don't earn money. OK, but you've, you've talked to all the utility companies we've already. We've spoken to all the utilities and, you know, we're, we're speaking to them. So, uh, you know, this is not something that is, is kind of, n- the idea is not new to them. You know, they've mm-hmm. got larger customers, whether they're companies or industrial companies. So the idea of us as consumers trying to access those better prices that large consumers of electricity access, that's really what we're trying to do. So it's not new to them either. So, so, so talk me through this. You, you, you've spoken to the utility companies. You said, I am going to gather together a critical mass. How many people do you need? Well, we're aiming for 20,000 people. So, and today already we're at, uh, you know, we've just launched today. In the last few hours, we're up at 800 already. Okay. So we're going to be open for a month. So we're encouraging everybody to come together because, of course, the more people who join in, the bigger the, the, bigger the potential discounts can be. The bigger the number I can go to utilities with, the more interesting the discounts can become. And what's to stop the utility company then offering <clears throat> that discount generally? N- nothing, nothing. And that's why it's good actually for everybody, because it can actually, it, hopefully it will drive competition. And, and nobody who signs up with us has to take the offer. You know, they can use the offer to shop around anyway. And, um, or somebody else can beat the offer that we get. As you say, you, 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 you get a percentage <coughs> from the utility companies if they get their 20,000 or whatever uh, signing, signing up to them. What is your own background? Well, I'm uh, from the health insurance space. So People will remember you, I think, from the health yes, insurance well, industry. Yes, well, I, I founded a, um, a Vivas Health at the time, now mm-hmm. Aviva Health, and I'm one of the founding investors of Glow Health as well. So, Could you do this for health insurance? Possibly, but, I, you know, I think the answer to that at the moment, Mary, is, you know, we, if we get a mandate from consumers, so if people sign up on the basis that they want us to negotiate on their behalf for better group deals, then, then we will do that and then mm. we'll continue. At the moment, it's an experiment. We want to see how this goes. If we hit the 20,000 for electricity and if we can genuinely deliver a much better deal than what's available out there, well, then I think, you know, then we'll continue. 
Because in Australia, it has been used for health insurance, has it, has, it not? Yeah, health insurance and banking. And it's, it's really around this switching model of, you know, if a lot of us unite and we enter into effectively collective bargaining, can we speak to the providers of big utilities and, and, and get them to offer us something that's not normally available to individual consumers? Are we being ripped off? And if so, to what extent are we being ripped off? No, I, I, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I think the thing is to negotiate. There are deals out there. There, there, are, there are utilities and you've got to shop around. You've really got to use, you know, the comparisons. You've got to, you've got to engage in some way. This and if you don't engage, by, yeah. you know, and a lot of people haven't engaged. If you don't engage, then you won't get some the best deal. Some people aren't good at, at haggling. Some people aren't good at well, we'll shopping do it around and, and arguing. Well, that's what we're here for. So people sign up with you. And do we the do web- it for you. Yeah. And so they go on your website, one big switch. <clears throat> Just need an email address, onebigswitch.ie, put in your email address and you've joined. Do you foresee legal action on behalf of consumers? How do you mean? Against you? I hope not. Some of them sign up, some don't, and Mm. some people get one deal and others get another. Well, I, I... I would hope that I can't can't envisage that 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 would happen. There's no obligation in it, you know. So basically, uh, consumers sign up. Uh, we 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 take their email address and then they 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 take the offer if they want it. But if they don't want it, they don't have to take it. And how long are you giving yourself on this one? We're okay. we're open. We're 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 going to try and recruit consumers for the next month. So there's there's 28 days, 26 days, whatever is left for the next month, and then we're done. So like this is a kind of a one-off. What do you mean then you're done? If if you don't get well, it is one big switch. It is one big switch. (laughs) And if you don't get twenty thousand in the month, well, you know, we'll have to see. If we don't get twenty thousand, that means our negotiating power isn't as good. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're really encouraging it. You know, everybody who's in, we're trying to encourage everybody who's in, and everybody's not in. Well, better still. You know, the the bigger the number, the bigger the potential discount. All right, Oliver Tatton. Thank you very much for coming into us this evening.